on. They will come on when they do. Okay. For breath is life. So if you breathe well, you will live long on earth. That's a Sanskrit proverb. So I'd like for you, for everyone to just take a breath in through your nose, take a breath in for one, two, three, four, hold the top for five, four, three, two, one, and breathe out. Cool, so I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Maria Shapley. I am a Buteco practitioner. I am a personal life coach and a certified neurolinguistic practitioner. And in this lecture today, we're gonna to learn all about the breath, what healthy breathing is, and provide you with tools and exercises that you can use anywhere to either relax, focus, and this will actually improve your health. All right, so when I say healthy breathing, what is healthy breathing? What do you think it is? And you can unmute yourself and share or write in the chat, whatever you feel more comfortable with. What do you think healthy breathing is? Anyone have an idea? Gives you all the oxygen you need, gets okay. rid of the CO2. Okay. Like that, all right. Anyone else? Well, I know it's not what I thought it was. So uh, I've heard a little bit about this approach. So I know it's really important to be breathing in and out through the nose. Yes. Great. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Yes? No? All right. So healthy breathing. The right way to breathe, or what I like to call healthy breathing, is breathing slow and through the nose. You're right, yes. So when you breathe this way, it connects you to your diaphragm, which is gonna put your body into a place of rest and digest, and it's actually gonna allow you be, to be more open to learning and creativity, so that you can more easily digest information. This sounds pretty good, right? Yes, <laughs> I like the way this sounds. Okay, so just try this. I want you just to start breathing through your mouth right now. Just breathe through your mouth. Just notice how you begin to feel. Are you breathing from your chest? What are your thoughts like? What are your feelings like? Okay, maybe you're feeling a little bit more anxious, a little bit more racy, as you're breathing more shallow. Okay, so now I want you to switch to your nose, just to start breathing only through your nose. Right away, do you feel something different? More relaxed, more calm? Okay, so breathing this way, slow and through the nose, again, it connects you to your diaphragm. So I just want you to just begin, just focus on your breath, feeling the slightly colder air entering your nostrils and the slightly cooler air, leaving, warmer air leaving your nostrils. Just feel your breathing and feel the slightly colder air entering your nostrils and the slightly warmer air leaving your nostrils. So I'm sure you can agree, you're feeling a bit more relaxed. Great. This is the way we are born to breathe. Breathing only through the nose is vital because the nose acts as a filter. It warms and moistens the air. It generates something called nasal nitric oxide, which cleanses the blood. It's an antiviral, antibacterial. It increases blood flow circulation and it connects us to our diaphragm, which helps to stabilize emotions. So not only do you get all the incredible and benefits of NO, but by breathing this way, you lower brainwave activity, which is going to make you more receptive to learning and creativity. So we get all of these benefits just by breathing this way. So before I started breathing this way, slow and through the nose, I was over breathing. I had no clue, and I learned this during my Buteco practitioner training. And what I've learned is that over breathing is breathing over 12 breaths per minute. 
I would, so I began applying what I learned in my training and I started to develop healthier breathing patterns, breathing slow and light and practicing these techniques. So it helped me reduce my anxiety. It helped me concentrate and focus better and it helped me improve my energy levels. So who knew all this could be done just by the breath? It's crazy, no, really it is. The breath is medicine. <laughs> it's, it's great. Okay, so this simple shift in breathing will enhance the quality of your life. So I'd like you to imagine having specific go-to techniques that will help you either focus, relax, ground, techniques that you can use before a meeting, to start your morning, before bed, while working out. So I'm gonna share with you two Buteco breathing exercises. But before I do, I'm gonna share with you something that's really cool. And this is a measurement tool to measure how well you're breathing. And it's called the control pause. So if everyone has their phone, we're gonna get out the timer. Looks like this. Okay, so everyone has their timer out. Great. All right, so how this works, I'm gonna demonstrate. You're gonna sit up straight and take a gentle breath in through your nose, gentle breath out your nose, end of the exhale, pinch it, hold, and time it till you feel that first definite desire to breathe through your nose again, and then stop, that'll be your CP number. So we can all do it together. Okay, gentle breath in through the nose, gentle breath out, end of the exhale, pinch and hold, time it till you feel that first definite desire to breathe through the nose again. And if Lost one. Um, and if you care to share what your CP number was. Yeah, Elizabeth, what was yours? Uh, 13. Okay. Brian, what was yours? Oh, you doing it again? Okay. Fred, what about you? 57, great. Brian? It said 19 <clears throat> or in some. Yeah. A little okay. over 19. And I don't know what happened before. Okay. Okay, great. So jot that down because you're gonna want you're gonna want to know what that number is at the end of the session today. I have it too, but yeah, it'll be good for you to know. Anything under 25 seconds is considered dysfunctional breathing patterns. So by doing these exercises, the goal is to increase the CP to over 25, over 30, 40, and so forth. Okay, first one that we're gonna do is called the many small breath holds. And this one's really great to use for relaxation, if you're having anxiety, just to relax and feel calm. So you can imagine that you can use this exercise anywhere, anytime, all the time. Okay. I wanna get, we're gonna do this for four minutes. So I have my timer out and I'll just guide you along. Take a gentle breath in through your nose, gentle breath out your nose, end of the exhale, pinch and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing through the nose for 10 seconds, which is normally around two breaths in between. End of the exhale, pinch and hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Breathing through the nose for 10 seconds. I 
into the exhale. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing through the nose from the belly. And hold five, four, three, two, one. Breathing for 10 seconds. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing for 10 seconds through the nose. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing for 10 seconds. End of the exhale. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing for 10 seconds. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing through the nose. And hold five, four, three, two, one. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathing from the belly. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Very good, and that was four minutes. Hi, Paul, nice to have you back. Yes, sorry, <laughs> my cell phone died. That's okay. There will be a recording of this, so I will post the replay when it's done and you can catch up on that exercise. Sure, definitely, thank you. Yeah, sure. Okay, next one is called Unblock the Nose, and it does what it says, it unblocks the nose, and not only does it unblock the nose, but it increases blood flow to the brain. So this is really good to increase energy levels for focus, something to do before a workout when you wake up in the morning, or if you need to study, this is a really good exercise for that. So we're going to do this three times. And how this works is you take a gentle breath in, gentle breath out, end of the exhale, pinch and hold. And you're going to gently nod your head for as long as you can to achieve maximum air hunger. And you're going to time it in between each round. And we're going to do this three times. All right, so I'll guide you along. So have your stopwatch out. All right, take a gentle breath in, gentle breath out, end of the exhale, pinch and hold. And time it, gently nod for as long as you can. So you really want to push this.
Okay, let's see. Um, Brian, what did you get for the first round? It said uh, 25.57. Okay. Elizabeth? 37.5. Great. Paul? Yeah, I did about 30 seconds. 30? Yeah. Great. Okay. Fred, I wasn't please. sure how long to do it. Do we do it to the point where we couldn't do it for another moment? Yep. But or you... just to the pain point? <laughs> oh, well, they both sound a little bit painful, I'm not sure. Um, so until you can't hold it any longer. I see. Um, and okay. also, though, you want to make sure that you breathe back and through your nose so you get all the benefits of the nitric oxide. Um, and then Paul, so I would like you just so you know, because we're going to measure the CP at the end of this as well. So the control pause is a measurement tool. Uh, a minute, there's a light, a minute 45, is that what it says? Okay, great. So uh, Fred has been practicing Buteco for a few months now. So his CP and his numbers are very high. So this is why he practices Buteco. Uh, Paul, if you would like, so the control pause, so it's a, a measurement tool to measure how well you're breathing. I'll, sh I'll show you at the end, but okay. it would be good for you to measure before and after a session so you can see the increase in your control pause. And you'll okay. notice with every round, so we're gonna do this another two times and you'll notice how your numbers increase with each round because your lungs are expanding. You're actually increasing levels of carbon dioxide, which is increasing oxygen throughout your body. So it's going to become easier. Okay. All right, so we're going to rest for another 30 seconds, breathing in and out through the nose from the belly. All right, on to the second round. And take a gentle breath in, gentle breath out. End of the exhale, pinch it, hold, time it and gently nod for as long as you can to achieve maximum air hunger. And when you can't hold it anymore, breathe back in through your nose. And if you're still going, keep going. Brian, what was yours? 2479. Okay. Great. Elizabeth? 40. Paul? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't record, um, but I'm thinking it should be slightly above 30. I probably I was a few seconds before. Uh, Elizabeth. So. Okay. <laughs> Hard to see. Um, okay, so Elizabeth, so you were probably, I'm going to say 35, Paul, and then Fred is still going. <laughs> I can't see it. There's the light. I can't, okay, one, does that say 140? Uh, 148. 148, great. But I, you know, I, I, I've done this before, so I'm, I'm cheating. <laughs> uh, 
Good, you. I'm a, I'm a shill. <laughs> <Michelle. This, laughs> I I, hands down, this is the greatest program. Okay. Thank you. And okay. From you practicing Buteco so often, doing the breathing exercises and having high numbers like that, what has it done for you and your your health or anything? Um, I've lost weight. Amazing. Um, partly because I believe that the the cortisol levels diminish when you do proper breathing. And when your cortisol levels drop, your insulin response is, is, is better managed and you don't turn carbohydrates into fat. You, you actually, you're, you're a much more efficient human because you're, you're burning the fat that you have. And, uh, you feel a lot less anxious. So all around, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole new world. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So resting here for another 20 seconds, just to recover breathing. We're going to do this one more time. I definitely have a sparkle in my hair. I don't know. <laughs> you see that? Where did the sparkle come from? <laughs> All right. Third round. When you're ready, you can go for the third round. We just start on our own? Yeah, you can start. Yeah, make it a, a gentle, yeah, gentle breath in, gentle breath out. Right, still going, keep going. Brian, what was yours? It was 36 this time. Great. Elizabeth? Uh -oh. 43. Paul? Okay, it was a minute and three seconds. Wonderful. I don't know if I probably overdid it. <laughs> Good. This one you're meant to push yourself. And you just want to be sure to breathe back in through your nose when you're finished because you want to get all the benefits. Oh, okay. Yeah, the nitric oxide. So NO accumulates in your nose. So you want to breathe that back in. All right, Fred, what was yours? Just want to unmute yourself. Yeah, it was uh, 110 because I think I was doing too much talking before. That does affect it, but that's still really great. All right, now we're gonna add some movement to the mix because movement and, movement and breathing is like mimicking life because in life, circumstances happen, situations happen. And the first thing that always gets affected is the breath. All right, so we're just going to you have the space for it. I'm gonna turn my laptop around. And this will be very simple. Okay, let me fix my light. 
Okay. Do you guys have the space to move? Can you guys stand up? Okay. Wonderful. All right. So first we're gonna start with Okay, uh, let me know if you can hear my music. Can you hear the music, kind of? Okay. All right, so we're just gonna open up the lungs and just begin walking and breathing slow. Just breathing slow in through the nose. Because in life, sometimes we're running around, we're busy, we're on the go, and we're not realizing that we're either over breathing, shallow breathing, breathing through the mouth, which is always breathing through the nose, mouth closed. Okay. Great. So this, we're going to run in place for a minute just to get the heart rate up. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Okay. All right. So we're going to do this for one minute and make my timer. Okay. And ready? We're going to run in place. One minute and go. One minute. We're just going to get the heart rate up. Breathing through the nose, mouth closed. No standing soap. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Keep running. Getting the heart rate up. Okay, I want you to run a little bit faster. Really get the heart rate up. Keep going. Great. We need to jump down, up. One minute, jump up. Yep. Landing on the balls of the feet. Bring it down. And always only breathing through the nose. Keep going. Get my music. Keep going, you got this. Doing great. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I'd like you to check your pulse. So you're gonna get your index finger and your pointer finger, and you're gonna find your pulse on where your your ulna line. This line here. Let me know when you can feel your pulse. Okay, everyone has it. So how you're gonna measure how many beats within 10 seconds. Okay, I'll let you know when. And we're gonna start counting. Wait, this, let me make sure everyone's ready. Everyone has their pulse. Oh, she has a watch. She's, she's gonna do it through. Okay, that's good. Okay, ready and now. <laughs> Time. All right, so how many beats did you get? 16. Great. 
Everyone has theirs. So I want you to write down what your pulse is times 16 times 10 or whatever your number is times 10. Isn't it times six? Aren't we doing? Times six, I, meant, I meant times six. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Times six. Okay. Does everyone have their pulse? No, Maria, I don't have it. Uh, is it the number of beats per minute? In what? In ten seconds. So I'm going to oh, get. Okay. I'm gonna. I'll time it for you. Okay. So let me know when you feel your pulse. Okay. 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 And now. Time. You have your. You have how many beats? I don't know if I'm uh, taking it wrong. I thought I got five or six. Is that right, or, or it's too low? It sounds a little low, but I don't know. Um, so, okay. So, just for the purpose of the class. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, that sounds a little bit low. All right, so we have our pulse, okay? So everyone jot down what your pulse is or remember what it is. And if you want, there are apps that you can get where you can measure your pulse with your app on your phone or if, you, if there are other devices, there are easier ways to measure your pulse. Okay, everyone good? So now we're just going to We're gonna walk and breathe for one minute. Just walking and breathing, breathing as you normally would, however you would normally breathe post a, a physical activity. Eating and walking how you normally would to recover after an exercise. Okay. All right. Very good, so we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna run in place. Okay, again, we're gonna run in place and the jumps for two minutes. Ready and go. Running in place first for one minute, getting the heart rate up again. Breathing in and out through the nose, mouth closed. Okay, stop and begin walking, just breathing normally. Breathing normally as you normally would for a minute. So what I'm doing with this experiment here is to show you the difference between breathing normally as you normally would with exercising and recovery and comparing it to breathing a healthy way and breathing slow to recover your workout. And what that does for your heart rate, 
and your lungs. So I'm gonna show you that after this, you will be walking as you normally would for another 20 seconds. Great, so now I'd like you to measure your pulse now. Okay, so everyone find your pulse. Actually, it's on this line, radius line here. Everyone, can everyone feel their pulse? Let, give me a nod, okay. And so I'm gonna set my timer for 10 seconds and now count how many beats within 10 seconds. time. Okay, everyone has their pulse. So you want to get how many beats and times it by six. Does everyone has, have their pulse? Actually, if you want to share it with me, what is everyone's pulse? I got 15. 15? Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, so you have 90. Um, okay. Who else? Brian, what was yours? It was a 12, so I guess that comes out to 72. Great. Fred? <laughs> I can't see it. Uh, um, 60. 60, okay. And Elizabeth? I had 100. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do this again. So this time, we're going to recover with slow breathing. We're going to incorporate what we're learning as we recover to lower heart rate much faster. Okay, so let's run in place one minute. You're all doing great. How are you feeling? Good. Good? Okay. All right. Here we go. One minute. Also, Breathing only through the nose while working out is increasing oxygen delivery throughout the body. And some advanced techniques is where you do breath holds while working out to really increase oxygen to give you more endurance and energy. Okay, we're going to do those jumps. One minute. Jump it up. Bring the heart rate up. Going. Get my music. Great. Woo. All right, now walk it out. Walk it out. Now, instead of breathing how you normally would, I want you just to breathe through the nose and breathe slow through the nose. Walking and breathing. So I'd like you to start to slow down your breathing. 
Breathing slow through the nose. Breathe soft, light, and slow. Only taking the amount of air you actually need. You will be surprised at how little air you actually need. So with each breath, take the air deep into your lungs. It's slowing down breathing to create a comfortable need for air. Slowing down breathing. So I'd like you to feel slightly breathless, to feel as if you're not getting enough air. Okay, very good. So that was the same amount of time. So now we're going to measure the pulse again. Does everyone have their wrist here? So the pulse. Okay, ready? And, and, now. Time. How many beats did you get? I think I got 16. 16, okay. What about you, Brian? 78 when I multiply by six. Okay. My Fitbit agrees with that. Okay. Very good. All right. So I'd like you to walk. I'd like you to place your hands on your ribs. Great. Begin walking and just place your hands on the upper side of your ribs. And as you breathe in, I'd like you to feel your ribs expanding outwards. And as you breathe out, feel your ribs moving inwards. You breathe in, feel your ribs expanding outwards. And as you breathe out, feel your ribs moving inwards. The breath should be smooth, silent, and light. There should be very little turbulence as the air enters and leaves the nose. Ideally, you feel a tolerable hunger for air. This signifies that your breathing volume is slightly less than it was before you started the exercise. I'd like you to begin to slow down your breathing. The goal is to breathe six breaths per minute. So breathing slow, light, and deep to time the breath. I'd like you to breathe in two, three, four, and out two, three, four, five, six. Ribs are going out in two, three, four, and out two, three, four, five, six. In two, three, four, and out two, three, four, five, six. In two, three, four, out two, Three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out, 
two, three, four, five, six. As you breathe in, I'd like you to bring the air deep into your lungs. As you breathe in, feel your ribs expanding outwards. As you breathe out, feel your ribs moving inwards. Very good. So breathing this way, breathing in laterally, you're gonna allow more oxygen to fill up your lungs. All right, so let's measure the pulse again. Okay, and when you're ready, when you have your pulse, let me know. Okay, ready and time. Time. How many beats within? About uh, 78. 78, okay. 72. 53 and 57? 57, 53. Yeah, I was, I was 57. Okay. I was 83. 83, okay. Okay. Great, so I know it's, uh, from what you could see with that, it's like a little trying to show you. So what breathing does before, while you exercise, before you exercise and after exercise, the effects it has on your performance while you're exercising your energy levels, the amount of oxygen you're having throughout your body, and then your recovery. So before, when you're just breathing normally, maybe it's different, sporadic, if you're breathing through, through your mouth sometimes, and then recovering as you normally would, compared to slowing down your breathing, only breathing through the nose, how it lowers heart rate faster, and it gives you more energy, okay? And you can experience more of this in a class that's dedicated to this, but I added this into this lecture so you can understand the importance of breathing with exercise to mimic everyday life. But we can sit back in our seats now. And we're going to cool down with a breathing exercise called reduced light breathing. We're going to do this for four minutes. And this is a great exercise to do before bed or if you really want to lower your heart rate or relax. So I'd like you to play sitting up straight. And imagine there's a piece of string pulling your head up to the ceiling. Lengthen the distance between your navel and sternum. Widen the distance between your ribs. Place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. And then you just start to pay attention to your breathing. Feel your breathing and feel the slightly cooler air as you enter your no as it enters your nostrils. The slightly warmer air as it leaves your nostrils. Feel your breathing. Feel the slightly colder air entering your nose and slightly warmer air as it leaves your nose. Really concentrate on your breathing. Use this as a measure of your concentration. For how long can you hold your attention to your breathing before the mind wanders? If the mind is wandering a lot, you'll get even more from this exercise. Keep bringing your attention back to your breathing. Feel the slightly colder air entering your nostrils and the slightly warmer air leaving your nostrils.
like you begin to slow down the speed of air as it enters your nostrils. Breathe so slow that you cannot feel your breathing. Breathe so soft that the fine hairs within the nose do not move. Breathe so gentle that hardly any air enters your nose. As you breathe in, bring a feeling of relaxation throughout your body and allow a soft, slow, gentle breath out. I would like you to really concentrate on slowing down your breathing so that you're taking less air into your body. Don't hold your breath or interfere with your breathing muscles. Instead, soften your breathing so that the amount of air you're taking to your body is less than what it was before you started. The goal is to create a feeling that you would like to take in more air, to feel an air hunger. To create air hunger, your breathing now should be less than what it was before you started. I need you to feel a want for air, a feeling that you would like to take in a deeper breath. If your breathing muscles contract or if they start to feel too tense and air hunger is too strong, if this happens, take a rest for 15 seconds and come back to it. But with practice, this becomes easier to sustain air hunger for longer periods of time. Soften your breath to the point of air hunger. Breathing in slow through your nose. Breathing so soft that the fine hairs within the nose do not move. Breathing so gentle that hardly any air enters your nose. At the top of the breath, bring a total feeling of relaxation throughout the body and allow a soft, slow, gentle breath out. Very good. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Relaxing. Okay. I'd like for everyone to just measure their control pause now. Let's see where we started and let's see where we're ending. So the control pause, we can all do this together if you like. Take a gentle breath in through your nose. Gentle breath out your nose. End of the exhale, pinch and hold and time it. So you feel that first definite desire to breathe through your nose again. Elizabeth, what did you have? 28. 28, wow. Brian? said 21.8. Uh, Paul, I know you didn't get to measure in the beginning, but in the future, if you start practicing Buteco and doing these exercises on your own, measure with a control pause. The most effective way to see how well you're breathing is to measure it first thing in the morning. Um, okay, Fred, what'd you have? Forty-four? It's hard to see. I can't see. 50, 54. 54, great. So just to go back to the beginning, um, Elizabeth, you started with 13, you're ending with 28. Um, 
Brian, you started with 19, you're 21. And Fred, you're about the same. And Paul, you will know moving forward. Let's measure your control pause right now. Let's measure it real quick. Let's see what it is. Take a gentle breath in, gentle breath out. End of the exhale, pinch and hold. Is the first desire to take a breath in. Not not unblock the nose. Okay. Wow. Okay. So you're around 38. Very good. Very good. Amazing. So we've learned a bunch of different breathing exercises and tools, the importance of healthy breathing, breathing slow and through the nose, and how it has such an impact on health and how we are in life by doing the exercises that increases your control pause number and having a high control pause number indicates that you're breathing better, you're breathing healthy, you're increasing oxygen, which is overall helping the, helping the efficiency of your body. And what I offer, what I do for people, I say that you know everyone has their own unique challenges and their own unique life. And then you share those challenges with me and I customize what you need for your life. So I want you to think about areas in your life that something didn't go so well recently or just ask yourself, would breathing, the things that I've been teaching you, would that have helped that situation or that phone call or that challenge? How would that have helped? Could breathing have really solved that? The answer is yes. And it might sound too simple right now, but that is my job to show you. And I'm so happy to. So thank you so much for joining this lecture. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have, thank yeah, thank you. I have a uh, class coming up on April 6th. If you would like to take the full Buteco program, I take you through, there are more exercises, but it's a way to really integrate healthy breathing patterns and give you more tools. Um, it's five sessions completed in four weeks, so I'll drop the link in the chat. Uh, let me get this here. So if you know where the chat box is, let me put this. If you can see it, that is the link to register. Um, and I also offer other programs. So if you'd like to get in touch with me, we can do a 15 minute call or whatever. You can talk to me about what's going on and we can see what we can come up for you. And then that is here. So I'll put that in there as well. So you can feel free to reach out to me. Do you have any questions? How are you feeling? Feeling good. So, so I have a question. So uh, let's say while I'm running, if I'm out of breath, should I avoid breathing through the mouth? Nope, only breathing through the nose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe take a bit of an adjustment at first if you're, you know, you think that you're taking in more air by breathing through your mouth, but actually it's really inefficient because the breathing through the mouth causes stress to the body, uh, trauma to the airways. Um, it actually takes away from having increased oxygen. Anything else? Well, I just wanted to say one of the things that you talk, talk about in the course that I took was that you need that carbon dioxide to help release the oxygen. Mm -hmm. and, and so that, that whole air hunger formula works to better oxygenate your entire body. So when as an athlete, 
I like I like that feeling of needing more air, but breathing through the nose to overcome that that desire to breathe deeper. It's important. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. Um, yeah, because that. So the air hunger is a good thing. So with the science behind this in Butego, why only breathing through the nose and to increase levels of CO2, CO2 is actually an essential waste gas. And when we have adequate levels of CO2 in the blood, that is what allows for the oxygen to be released from the red blood cells into the organs and tissues of the body. So it increases oxygen and energy levels. So as an athlete, when you're performing, when you're only breathing through the nose, increasing the CO2, you're also enhancing your performance. And it's nice to understand that. So then you think, oh, I have this air hunger, but actually it's a good thing. And I'm getting nitric oxide as well. So many benefits, there's so much to learn. <laughs> you, I, I came ac across a book, uh, Breath by James Nestor. Do you? recommend that book? Yes, I read it and it's very good. You will learn a lot. Okay. If you don't mind, could you just like summarize, you know, the main points from what I gathered is like, uh, fewer breaths per minute is better, fewer yeah. deep breaths, right? And that will um, bring your pulse rate down? Yes. Correct, okay. Yep. Pulse down and also it will increase oxygen and blood flow to the brain and nitric oxide. So is that that recovery breathing thing that we did where we aim for six a minute breaths, is that something you would aim to do all the time or just when you're recovering from exercise or, or what? I would say all the time. So the Taoist monk Lao Tzu, he says a perfect man breathes as if he's not breathing. And that does hold true for how we breathe light, to breathe less, lighter, slower, and deeper. And that's what they say in Buteco. So if the goal is to achieve six breaths per minute, in general. Wonderful. It was so great to teach and thank you for the questions and your participation. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing us this stuff. You're welcome. Thank you. Hope to Thank see you in class. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.